How Border States Can Prepare for Terrorism The threat of terrorism looms large. It casts a shadow of fear and uncertainty over our communities. But amidst the apprehension, there is a beacon of hope, preparedness. We have the power to take proactive steps to safeguard our families and communities against the specter of terrorism. So we're going to look into the essential strategies and measures that can help border states prepare for the unthinkable. Crafting a Family Disaster Plan In the face of terrorism, preparation is paramount. Unlike natural disasters that often come with warnings, terrorist attacks can strike suddenly and without notice. So it is imperative for every family to have a comprehensive family disaster plan in place. This plan should encompass crucial elements like emergency contacts. Compile a list of emergency contacts and include local authorities, medical facilities, and trusted people who can provide assistance during times of crisis. Rally points. Identify designated rally points for family members to convene in the event of a terrorist incident. These physical locations should be easily accessible and well-known to everyone, ensuring a swift and coordinated response. Of course, a disaster supply kit. Prepare a disaster supply kit containing essential items like water, food, first aid supplies, and emergency tools. Ensure that the kit is readily accessible and periodically update it to meet evolving needs. By establishing a family disaster plan, Families can mitigate the fear of the unknown and empower themselves to respond effectively in the event of a terrorist attack. The importance of rally points. Given that families may not always be together during a crisis, the identification of rally points assumes critical importance. These predetermined locations serve as rendezvous points where family members can reunite and coordinate their actions. Whether it's a workplace, a school, or a neighbor's house, having designated rally points ensures clarity and efficiency in times of chaos. Tips before, during, and after a terrorist incident. Drawing insight from FEMA's terrorism fact sheet Here are some key tips to keep in mind. Beforehand, stay vigilant and aware of your surroundings. Take precautions when traveling and familiarize yourself with emergency exits. During, remain calm and follow established safety protocols. If you're faced with a building explosion or fire, evacuate promptly and seek shelter from falling debris. After, If you're trapped, use available tools to signal for help. Refrain from attempting rescues without proper training and await the arrival of personal emergency people. Preparedness actions for individuals and communities. The key to resilience lies in preparedness. Individuals can take proactive steps to safeguard themselves and their loved ones by Discussing potential hazards and threats with family members. Developing and practicing the family disaster plan that includes the rally points and emergency contacts. Participating in community-based initiatives like the Community Emergency Response Team to ensure and enhance collective resilience and response capabilities. By fostering a culture of preparedness and collaboration, states can stand united against the threat of terrorism and emerge stronger in the face of adversity. As the threat of terrorism continues to loom large, the importance of preparedness cannot be overstated. So by taking proactive measures to craft the family disaster plan, identify rally points, and adhere to safety protocols, families can enhance their resilience and readiness in the event of a terrorist incident. And as always, you know I want to hear your thoughts in the comments, and check out this next video YouTube has chosen for you based on your own watch history.